All right, 3 o'clock. This is very exciting. John Jansen joining us. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, I'm, I'm normally one. saying uh, good morning. Yeah, uh, I know. Oh, did you play the, the good afternoon there? I, did, I fell into that one. It's okay. I? Don't worry about it. What's going some, on? I had to bring some backup with me. I knew Rico was mad for all the... What would you do to me? I was just poking at him on Twitter you know a little what, bit no, after, you know, the, oh, after oh, the game. Okay, John, well, see, I don't you know. get to see. Here's, here's, here's what happens. <laughs> he gets drunk. <laughs> and he starts oh, he's drunk tweeting? Yeah, buzzed. he does it all the time. <laughs> you need some, get this man some headsets. <laughs> get him some headsets. <laughs> oh, he missed it. <laughs> <laughs> he missed that. <laughs> I just say, hey, good to see a Michigan team go out to the West Coast and take down a Pac-12 Instead team, of just you know? being happy that Eastern went out there and did their thing, he can't. He gets he so he does this stuff. Yeah. Am, so I, am I, I allowed to weigh in like Judge Wapner? I've I pretty much I actually have no problem with it. No, no, his, Eastern went to Arizona no, 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 State Mike, and Mike. won. He deserves no, to see, do what he yeah, But the Eastern oh. game was at eleven. So right. I, the game by that was point seventeen officials. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, I got you. So no, he Different does level. that, and then all the cockroaches come out, and it's just like, <laughs> and now we got a whole timeline full of stuff. So now I have to go in and take myself out of the conversation so that I won't get to all the cockroaches that TJ leads to if my doorstep. you just doorstep. respond one time, I'll I'm leave never you alone. going to respond <laughs> to you. It. You don't want to hear the response, okay? You don't. You don't. <laughs> the, the whole Twitter thing. Right, and, and I'm on it, Mike. I know you're not on it anymore. Which that's a great move. Oh, it's b- great best, move. Best I'm, life I'm, decision yeah, ever. <clears throat> pretty much a post and ghost for me. But TJ loves the interaction oh, no, no. on social media. You know what he is? Oh, it's no, no, he's an yeah. oversized Jeff Rieger. Is what he is. <laughs> okay, hold on. No, 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 no it does not. No, I know why you brought me in yeah, for back. No, yeah. no, no, it does not. John, I brought you in no, for it's not. Here's why. Rieger loves to troll. TJ loves to troll, but people are afraid of him, so they won't say anything. <laughs> only when to him. it comes to Rieger, only when it comes to like, Michigan State. I, 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 not worried about Rieger. Only when it comes to Michigan State. Say what? Only when it comes to Michigan State. I'll say that. Yeah, that's what I was saying. And you. I mean, you're right, because like, I know it bothers like, you so no, much. No, I'm like, and no, because the beauty oh, of it is I can remove myself from that conversation. So take my name out. I'll start a new one. It's beauty is weird. And I'll just, start yeah, a new just thread, baby. Minute, right? <laughs> well, the, the next thing you see is going to be in a, a circle with a line through it. Oh, okay. oh come on. You can't. You Why? can't. Why? Why do you? Wow. Don't say you that. Can't. That's hurtful. You can't Rico. take that back. We were joking around. All the you stuff he's doing for me. level. And that's hurtful? You don't gotta take it to another level, man. Come on. I give you one. No, no. I give you one. He was gonna defriend you. No, no. I give you one, but then he keeps it going. It's like TJ. The whole point. Yeah. I mean, it's the whole point of social media. I was you throw it out there, and and, I mean, if you enjoy it, which I know both of you guys do, all right, you just gotta keep it rolling. I was having a pretty good Friday. You just hurt my feelings, Rico. Ah, you'll be all right. Jeez, you'll be okay. Hey, big boy. Guards are sensitive. All right, now, listen. Jeez. Get out, John. No, no, no. <laughs> no John doesn't want to leave because he's got to go meet with Jimmy for something. And that, that ain't going to yeah. be no fun. Uh, yeah, I know he's, it's not water balloon talk. He's, he's, he's <laughs> <out of here. laughs> People, we will explain that inside bit later. John, he, I, he called me when I was at the airport this morning, and I went, what did you just say? Yeah. So then Jimmy told me the story. I, I went, dude, he was digging his own grave oh, yeah. with some yeah. of the things he then said. I, we were taking dibs on his office this morning because I didn't think he was going to be in. Basically, Jimmy knocked out our boss with a water balloon. So here's the in funny the thing. Oh. <laughs> because all of a sudden, the picnic is still going on. She just pulls up right here, slams the door. I was like, I guess the picnic's over. I'm just joking. Oh, yeah. Dude, not knowing what happened. But and then I got the story like... That explains a lot. She was not happy. Well, the, he the, he turned into Raleigh fingers and throws a, a like a slider at her skull. Uh-huh. You can't do that. <laughs> can't happen. You heard that, TJ? Didn't you? And then he followed it up I with did. this. So you know, I think there was a right to be a little upset. And he goes, "Well, if you don't want the horns, don't mess with the bull." <laughs> no. I went, "Oh boy!" You know what? And I, oh. I, I, I promise you, oh, when he came up to the building, he went up to the car thing like, <laughs> yeah, does it still work? Yeah. Oh, oh, it yeah. works. Okay. <laughs> Can I still get into the facility? <laughs> right. My key card expired. <laughs> um, <laughs> can I ask Can I ask a football question since we have John here? Yeah. I mean, TJ doesn't count. It's we got more, the whole left side of the line. Let's go. I'll take a nap. No, no. I just know last <laughs> right. you loved the line time. of questioning <laughs> last week. John, Maryland. I can't figure anything out with this deal. Are, are you – do you believe it's a test for the defense? 
For the defense? Well, for parts of the defense. Right. It's can can the defensive line put pressure on Tunga Bailoa with four guys? Because you've got four receivers, four legitimate receivers from Maryland, led by Rakeem Jarrett, who I think is going to be a stud. And if you want to give your secondary a chance to get their feet underneath them in this season, because it hasn't happened yet. Yeah, it is. Then, then you put you you drop, you know, seven into coverage, and you rush four, and you need to be able to get home against that offensive line with four. If you can't, now all of a sudden you have concerns about being able to pressure the quarterback, and then you have concerns if you can't stop them about what the secondary is going to do. That's the only question I have because then you look at at the, at the Maryland defense and you're like, mm, yeah, still not really. Yeah, a test. SMU just ran another play. Ninety six yeah. yeah. snaps last week. I, I look at this exhausting to watch them. If you're the defense, <laughs> it's exhausting. You, you just got to be patient because this is one of those offenses. You know, eventually they're going to turn the ball over. Right, they're going to do something stupid. Just stand your ground, do what you got to do, and just wait. And when you get that opportunity for the pick, grab it. Don't drop it because the next play could go over your head. That's the only reason I was in the Big Ten Championship game last year. Oh. Talia Tungavailoa turned the ball over five times mm-hmm. and gave Iowa the ball inside their own 15 five times. That's the game Demas got, uh, got blown up yeah, to. Right? Yeah, he broke, he broke his yeah. leg yeah. or something. Yeah, And, I mean, we know how bad their offense is and their quarterback situation. So if Ugh. they can beat a team like Maryland, and, the, and both teams are pretty much the same. Iowa didn't do anything, and Maryland, yeah, they, they've got some younger players, but I don't know that we're going to see them. But the, the, the whole key is Michigan secondary against the wide-receiving core of Maryland. What, do you, what the hell you make of Michigan State's game? See, I, I think we're going down in flames. TJ? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, look, I was yeah, wrong last week, let's too. Let's go with lead Sparty, Thomas <laughs> yeah. John Lang. Perfect. Yeah, let, no, let me I, start this one off. You're not going to hurt my feelings. No, I know gonna, we're not that I'm good. Not, I'm not I just want to know what the deal is. I don't want to crush anybody, but, you know, listening to you guys earlier, say this is an important game, right? You want to prove that, hey, what we, what we saw in Seattle was not us. Kind of Unfortunately, I think it is. Like, I just – So it's the, the importance f- of this game is – if you lose this game, and that's who you are, mm-hmm. what happens against Michigan? You what happens throttled. against Penn State? What happens against Ohio State? Garbage can over Niagara Falls. So then you're looking at seven and five. Oh, it's it's whole, it's unacceptable. But right. like he was drunk texting me opening night, and I said, I go teach. You're not going on over there. You're not going. <laughs> well, you know, I'm not drunk every night of the week. All right? The point Jeez. is, I said, and why. I said to him opening night, I go, Teej, you're not bothering me because this is a seven and five team. They're not good. So, but I, so, but but here's the other thing too. This is year two for Mel Tucker. All right, he's still putting a band aid right. on what he inherited. So last year the band aid was Kenneth Walker the third. Right. This year. And I'm not sure what the band aid is, but he tried to go to the transfer portal. There but you're one. secondary. You, so you've got to find these <laughs> band aids no. while he builds yeah, it his recruiting class. Yeah. He builds his yeah. classes. Yeah. And once he gets it going, I think he's going to be all right. Me too. But this is going to be the first three years, and I don't count 2020. That doesn't count for anybody. Last year was his first year. He won 11 games. I, this year, it's going to be down a little bit. Upset, Next year, John. it might I be just, up. No, I, I just don't think that argument works anymore with the new landscape of college football. I don't think you can play the youth card or you can play the haven't gotten my guys card. We, we saw it last year. Michigan State did. Well, and I, I, I tend to agree. You can, see, do, but you I don't can go think get day one starters right now, now in, in the portal and go up. get guys. I don't think that argument is but see, here, Here's me, the thing about the portal, and I told Mike. Anymore. It's just like recruiting. I don't care how many stars you got next to your name. Sometimes you can swing and miss on a recruit. Yeah. He wasn't the guy you thought he was going to be. Same with the portal. People think, oh, well, you just go in the portal and get this guy, and it's going to be an instant success. Chances are it's not. Right. Most of your portal guys are. No, Fail. I get there, that, it, but it, also it's like the free diff- agency. You're available for a reason, right? And for yeah. every Caleb Williams who openly follows his coach, yeah. right? Nobody else had a there, chance to there's get There's a yeah. thousand guys, yeah. right? Yeah, but here's exactly. here's how it's similar to free agency. You, you, it's not like college recruiting where you're watching these kids play against a bunch of high school kids. You're watching these transfer portal kids play Division One football. You know how good or where you project them to be as a college football player based off of that. It's yeah. just like right, free just, agency. We saw this like, guy play against right, but other just, NFL schools. Just we like know free, what kind of NFL player he is. Just like a free agent, sometimes you go to a team and you're like, what happened to the guy we saw on tape? Because yeah. that ain't this guy now. I got one other question Coaching. real quick. I don't even want to bring up Ohio State. There's no point to it. Um, are we sleeping on Penn State? 
They're much better than I thought they were. Same. And I just don't know where to put them. Because Auburn has no quarterback play, but still. Oh, Auburn, Auburn, Auburn has so much going on right now. With, Poor with Harsons internal... was lucky to keep his job in February. They're, half the team can't stand him. Half the team loves him. You've got a division in the locker room. You've got a division in their administration. Guys that People that want him, people that don't want him. And they don't have it's an AD. A, they have an right. interim because the boosters think it's their job to, to hire the coach. Auburn's an, an absolute train wreck right now. So, again, we don't know. <laughs> they got Auburn at the right are. year. That's yeah. what they did. And, but you know what? It looks good. You went to the SEC. I and just you beat somebody. Well, like I said, it's running back yeah, for, for, for somebody that is a a fringe college football fan. They'll look at that and go, "That's a great one." It's impressive. Right. This year, I look at that and go, "Eh." I look at it because I put them number one for week three in my power ranking in the Big Ten simply because they went on the road twice, played two Power Five teams, and won. Yeah, oh. it was Purdue and it was Auburn. Nobody else has done that. Don't lie. You put them at number one. That's what uh, I said. Oh, I thought you said number three. Yeah. Come on, keep up. Oh, hey, 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 drinking <laughs> already. <laughs> TJ was opening a beer. <laughs> I thought you said number three. I'm sorry. Uh, David, can we <laughs> three get him, sounds like can one. We get him a spit bottle, different. please? He's going to start his dip routine. We need a bottle in here. Please. On the you, way. Want, you want this empty can? <laughs> it's been made. You want this empty oh, no, can? No, no, no. Just got it, man. Soda cans don't work. You want to talk Lions? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. man. John, I'm you want to talk lines or you want to go to your meeting? Uh, I want to go to my meeting. He's got an AA yeah. meeting. I got, I got thanks for sticking around. You can't say that. You can't say that. What did I say? <laughs> what would you say? I, I didn't know. What I you said you got to get to your meeting. No. That's not what he said. I'll tell you off. An Ann Arbor meeting. Just the initial. Yeah. Hey, uh, thank you. Okay. Got to get to his Ann Arbor Ann meeting. Arbor you know what, John? I was just about to say it must feel nice not being on in the air with somebody who will say something creepy, or but then, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ann Arbor is a swear word in the, hey, at this time hey, of day. Hey, I don't need that voice. I don't need that voice. Come on, man. I hear a voice. I don't need that voice. <laughs> John, do you have a pool on the over-under on the date he'll go grandmother from wedding crashes <laughs> and get himself fired? Oh, wow. <laughs> You don't want to answer that. Don't answer that question. <laughs> don't answer that question. I'm stepping in as his lawyer. Save him from him. Yes. You John, are not. Get out. You are not allowed to answer that. You guys great. have a great week. Tony's grandfather did that. Look out for a gopher. <laughs> All right. Um, we'll talk lions in a minute. <laughs>